Hi guys, in this video we will be dealing with null values in SQL. Now what is a null value? A null value, for instance like here, means there is no value. Zero is still a value. It is a number which precedes one. But null means nothing, no value. And the question is, how do I deal with these? For instance, how do I filter null values? Well, let's try with curves. You can go like this, where, just like a normal filter, curves. Now you don't put equal or anything like that, but is null. That gets you all the fields or all the rows where curves are null. And obviously, if you wish to exclude the nulls, you just use is not null. And that shows you all rows except those containing null in or have null curves. So that's one way of dealing with nulls. Another way of dealing with nulls is sometimes, let me put it back to is null so we can get them all. Um, Uh, one one thing to, to uh, one way to of, uh, of uh, dealing with nulls is basically to replace them. Now, how can I replace them? Well, there are multiple ways of doing it. One way is to use a condition like case, like with case, but a much easier and faster way is to use the function coalesce. And let's try it out with curves. I can now replace the nulls with the function coalesce. I start off like this: coalesce, and then open program. Now, the first thing what comes is the field I wish to, you know replace the nulls in, and that's corpse. And then second of all, a comma, and then, you know, with what you wish to replace those nulls. Let me start off with an empty string. And if I run that, you will see now in corpse, I have empty strings instead of the nulls. I can obviously use any other uh, thing in there and replace the nulls with that. So in this case, a minus. One has to pay attention though, if I wish to replace the curves with a zero, I can do that as such, no problem. However, if I wish, that's a string, that's actually not a real zero. It looks, it's a, it looks numeric, it is, but it's actually a string because it's uh, enclosed within quotes. If I wish to replace that with a real zero, with a real number, then I will get an error because in this case, corpse is text. So in order to replace that with a number, I have to convert corpse to a number. That would, I can easily do that with cast and as decimal. And now I'm able to replace the nulls with zero. So basically, when dealing with nulls, filtering nulls is basically using the keyword is and null or, or is not null. And if you wish to replace the nulls in your fields, just use the function coalesce, but just make sure that the, the, the item you replace your nulls with should be of the same type as the field. In this case, if you've got a field of type text and wish, anyways, wish to replace it with a number, wish to replace the nulls with a number, then make sure you cast your field to the right number format. 